Thanks for tuning in. This is the Tammy Tang Design YouTube channel. I'm Tammy, and today I'm creating the third layout in this series. I put together four page kits with the Our Story Matters collection from Echo Park, and all of my videos in the month of August are devoted to creating layouts with these page kits. In front of me, I have all of the papers I'm going to scrapbook with today. But first, I did want to share my current pile of leftovers. I meant to show this at the end of the last video and I forgot. Of the three pieces of paper I had for the last layout, this is what's left. These two strips from the blue plus sign paper that I used for my background. On the back side is the plaid print and two pieces from this floral stripe paper with the blue gingham print on the back. I'm going to add these papers to what I have left over from the first layout. I'm keeping all of this together. It's not my plan to use papers from one layout on any of the other layouts in this series, but I have all of this together if I need to. This is what's left over from the stickers and the die cuts I pulled. There are still a ton of stickers in the sticker book and from the two ephemera packs, but I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job of using most of what I pulled ahead of time. I'm still thinking about what to do with the leftovers. There's gonna be enough for a bonus layout or two. We'll see how it goes. Here are the papers I'm using on today's layout. This cute Polaroid print. On the back is one of the cut apart sheets. I cut out some of these cards to use on the fourth layout that's coming up next week. So I only have these scraps, but I only need a few small pieces of this paper for this layout. So what I have here is plenty. This layout will have a little mixed media. So I have a sheet of white American Crafts precision cardstock cut down to 10 by 10 inches. Here's the multicolor hearts on the dark blue background, and that's going to be the background on today's layout. And there's also the blue stripe paper. On the back sides are the pink tone on tone print and the cute multicolor flowers on a white background. I won't be using either of the back sides on this layout. With the photos and the mixed media, there's not a lot of room for the pattern papers. I'll be cutting both the Polaroid paper and the blue stripes into circles to use as cluster bases. Today's layout is a one pager with two photos and I'll show the photos in just a little bit. As I mentioned, I'll be cutting the circles for this layout with some dies. For the mixed media, I have this simple stencil with dashes in a diamond shape and I'm gonna use a couple of these texture stamps from Bow Bunny. I do have two colors of Distressed Oxide ink, Tumbled Glass, and Stormy Sky. I think Stormy Sky is gonna be the winner. It looks like it's a better match. Tumbled Glass is brighter, but Stormy Sky is more muted, and that's probably gonna work better for what I want to do in the background on today's layout. The stamping will be minimal. I'm gonna use the paint strip stamp behind my photos for grounding and for a place to add embellishments to. On my tray, I'm still working through these labels. I'm putting one or two on each layout. I do have a lot of stickers and die cuts pulled for this one. There are no florals in the papers, so I'm going to be adding florals with the stickers. I just pulled this whole sheet from the sticker book. Here are a few others that I pulled from the larger sticker sheet and more of the word sentiments. I also have a few die cuts here from the ephemera pack. I think that's all for this layout. I need to go cut my papers, do some die cutting, add the mixed media to my cardstock, and then I'll show you my design ideas for this page. Here's my white cardstock background with the mixed media added. I also added a yellow cardstock frame, just an eighth of an inch all the way around. I did add a little inking through this stencil in three different spots with the Stormy Sky Oxide ink. I'm glad I went with this color. It's exactly what I wanted. These spots will be leading to my three embellishment clusters, and it gives me a layer in the background that's flat to the page, not adding any extra bulk to everything else I will have going on. 
I also took this paint swatch stamp from the Bow Bunny set to add the darker stamping, which will go a bit behind the photos. And then I added this bit of the bigger stamp, just inking a small edge next to it. This will help frame my photo a bit and help ground the flower stickers I will add. I don't always think to add stamping to my pages like this. It takes time and you have to kind of think it through ahead of time. At least I do. Pulling everything out and giving it time to dry and cure is what usually gets me. I do like adding mixed media to my pages, but I don't always take the time to do it, especially if I'm in a rush and I just want to get a layout done. This background will be centered on the layout so there's a nice frame around the outside with this multicolored heart paper. I could have gutted the center to save some of this paper, but I do have another sheet of it, so I just didn't feel the need to do that. If you want some dimension, this piece could go up on foam tape. I'm not gonna do that. I do have some embellishments that may go over the edges of the cardstock and I didn't want the extra dimension. Here are my photos. This is how I was thinking I would arrange these photos with the inking just a bit under both of them. I wanted to have the horizon line in each photo somewhat in the same place in a line across the page. So they will be offset from each other just a bit. I did cut out circles with the two pattern papers. I changed it up from my original thought and added a scallop circle to the back, which allows the blue stripe to show a little more. Once I get this arranged, you can see that the inking in the background kind of leads from the photos to where my embellishment clusters will go. I did cut only one bigger circle and I cut it into one third and two thirds pieces. The smaller one will go on the top and the bigger one will go on the bottom. You can see that the blue was cut from the same circle. I did cut two smaller circles from the Polaroid paper and the background will be arranged in basically two columns. I've added my title to wax paper. I'm using a thicker set that I had pulled and the smaller block stickers came from the Our Story Matters sticker book. There were no titles on the sticker sheet or in the book that were gonna work for this one. The title says, What's Sunrise? So that's the design. I'm gonna go glue everything down and then we can work on the embellishments. So now that I've got everything down on the page, you can see that my design basically has two columns going vertically down the page. I did go ahead and add my journaling onto this card from the Frames and Tags ephemera pack. This one matches the background paper. One of the problems I always have when I'm making my layouts is that I tend to think about my photos, making room for the title and all the fun embellishments, but I often overlook journaling space. You can see on the page, there's not much room for journaling. I could write a few lines above the photo, on the left, or I could add a few lines below the blue label on the right. I didn't like either idea, and I didn't wanna figure out how to incorporate this big journaling tag into my design, so I'm tucking this behind the left photo. I don't mind adding journaling by hand directly to the page if there's enough room, but I do have a hard time making my handwriting small enough to fit on just a few lines, and on this page, it just wasn't gonna work. So I have these two circles that will act as cluster bases for this page. I'm also gonna add some flowers to the sides of each photo. And I will also add a little something down in the bottom corner. So like the last layout, there's gonna be more than three clusters, but I'm gonna use a lot of the stickers, so it's a good thing. I added the date to the blue label and I'm gonna add the yellow label too. I will cut this one in half and use it in both the top and the bottom clusters. For the die cuts, I know for sure I'm gonna add this phrase. So this happened up here in the top cluster. I'm gonna add make today beautiful down here and this one can go off the page a bit. This other phrase is gonna end up in the leftover pile. There's just not enough room for it. Down in the left corner, I wanna add this typewriter die cut. 
Since I added the green letters in the title, I'm going to try and get a bit of green in all of my clusters. For stickers, I'm mostly using these flowers and they already have green built into the leaves, so that makes it easy. I'm going to grab the sticker sheet with all of the phrases and look to see if there's any phrases in green, just in case I need another pop of green somewhere. And yes, there are still two on here if I need more green. I think I'm going to work on the bottom cluster first. I want to add this sticker that says our story to the typewriter die cut. As I start to build out this layout, I feel like things started to get really crowded. My vision was for the heart background paper to have presence and to be seen. So I cut the white cardstock down to 10 by 10 inches and that forced everything else to be contained within that smaller canvas. As I usually do, I'm gonna fuss around with these clusters a bit. I like to test things, try this and that, swap things out and see what looks best. That's hard to do sometimes with stickers. That's another reason I haven't always used them. And yes, I know I can use a powder tool, but I didn't have one nearby. Once I get the camera on there and add the phrase through my lens, this cluster really comes together but it's busy. What was driving a lot of my decisions is that the photos are not the best quality. They are the only photos I have of this moment, so I'm gonna use them. But since the photos are not as exciting to look at, I wanted to fill in the rest of this space to bring in the interest. My intention for the inked spots under the photo was to help ground the flowers that I'm adding to both photos. That way the stickers aren't just floating there. So these photos. My husband and I went to Savannah, Georgia for our honeymoon. COVID was still around and at the time, neither of us wanted to get on a plane. We can drive to Savannah and still feel like we were away. And it's a fun place to explore. Well, I had been to Tybee Island for a family reunion a few years prior. And Tybee Island is about 45 minutes from Savannah. One of my favorite parts of that trip was showing up on the beach early every morning with my cousins to watch the sunrise. I wanted to share that with Michael, so we got up early one day and I dragged him out to Tybee Island. And when we got there, it was hazy and cloudy and we didn't even see the sun until an hour later. <laughs> my husband was a good sport about it especially when we found a great hole in the wall diner for breakfast. We both love to find places like that. So it was worth a trip out to the beach, but it was still ironic that the only reason I wanted to go out there was to see a sunrise and we didn't get one because the sun was covered up by the clouds. So that's the, so this happened story of this layout. I will admit that the clusters didn't come together very smoothly. Because I had pulled so many stickers and die cuts, I was really trying to use as many of them as I could, and it took some trial and error to figure out the right combinations. I was working on the smaller 10 by 10 canvas, and some of the embellishments were bigger than I wanted for the space that I had. I've added some florals to the cluster up at the top and a green phrase sticker above the die cut that says, make today beautiful. I also added two tiny flowers to the blue label with the date. I will get this yellow label on the page. I'm gonna end up cutting it in half, so half will go in each of the bigger cluster circles. Once I get this label added to the cluster, it finally feels complete like it needed more than just the circle element in the background. I will add some foam adhesive to some of the elements, but everything else is flat to the page. My vision for the layout turns out fine, but I will admit with the background inking and the circles and the two photos, there's a lot going on in that small space. I tried to build the two biggest clusters off to the side a bit so as not to cover up all of the Polaroid paper. Sometimes building clusters all comes down to trial and error. Start with this piece, add something, take away that piece, and keep going until it looks good to your eye. 
like so many creative things, you can try and use a formula, like starting with your largest cluster element first and adding smaller pieces from there. But it doesn't always work. I started with my biggest pieces in the bottom cluster, but it didn't feel finished until I added the yellow label underneath. If I had started off with the label first, I'm not sure I would have built the same cluster. I'd love to say I had it planned all along, but this layout took on a life of its own as I added more stickers. There is interest around my photos and I have clusters to draw the eye around the page and there are multiple visual triangles within the groups of embellishments. For finishing touches, I'll end up adding three of the smaller pearl brads. Because there was already so much going on, I felt like the smaller finishing touches, the better. I picked out a pink, blue, and a green pearl, one for each cluster. And before I'm done, I will end up adding a bigger brad that says story to the flowers on the left photo. I'm also adding a few puffy hearts from Freckled Fawn in each of the big clusters. I thought about topping it off with some of the clear drops from Pink Fresh, but I thought better of it. Just because I have all the things doesn't mean every page needs all the things. So that is where I will call this one done. If you'd like to download a sketch of my completed layout, there is a link in the description box below to the series bundle that includes all four sketches from this series with some bonus options for each one. I'll be back next week with the fourth and final layout from this series. See you then.